we will learn how to use make.com so when we update a table in uh, Airtable, it gets updated, copied into Google Sheets. If you understand how this works, you will also be able to copy from Google Sheets to Airtable, the same thing. So I don't need to show you the other way around. Let's go here and click, uh, let's search for Airtable. And I'm going to go here and watch for records. So I'm going to create a new connection just to show you how. And we will use OAuth because the other one is deprecated. Let's just say tutorial one, whatever. Save. Join my free school community where you will master building AI automation, chatbots and workflows. You can read more below. I'm gonna go select a base. So I created a new base tutorial. Uh, if you don't know how to create a base, I'm gonna show you right now. So if you don't see your base here, we I forgot to show you, we need to go here. If you are at airtable.com, so let me go there. I'm gonna click here start from scratch you will get to this kind of view then you need to go here tutorial uh, rename to tutorial click here and click click to rename table as well you're gonna have like uh, some fields let me just show you you're gonna delete like click the field that you don't want and scroll down delete I made a few fields here description has phone number and seller or buyer okay so base we need to refresh tutorial and table it's gonna be into table tutorial and trigger field so it says here you need to create last modified uh, time field or create a time field so let's create this field let's create a new field name it like this and scroll down and look for type uh, or actually you can just write here last modified time type and create field so we need this field in order for this to be in order for me to understand like what's like to track the rows then I can click here to refresh and click here to select this okay um, label field as label for a record I'm not sure exactly but I think this is the one that we want to like the primary one so I'm gonna choose description to be my primary but I'm not sure what this is for oh, I, I think it's uh, checking if this field is getting changed or updated or added a new whatever just select a field and from now on uh, we don't want all we just want from now on so if you want to maybe you want to copy all of them or something but let's just say from now on uh, and then let's go here and add Google Sheets here uh, add a row and let's have a new connection you're gonna sign in with Google and once you sign in with Google, I'm going to go here, select by path, my drive, uh, choose file. Let me close this, choose file. And I'm going to go here to tutorial. This is the one that I created that it has these same fields, although they don't need to be the same. You just need to know uh, what you are mapping to what. So sheet name is sheet one. So description is going to be this description. Has phone number, has phone number and seller or buyer seller or buyer okay if I run this once it will not do absolutely anything because there is no new uh, not here but here there is no new rows added so let me just add a new row like uh, I'm buying and then yes has phone number and uh, buyer buyer like that and now if I uh, say this I think it will add yeah so why it added just what is this I'm not sure the reason it wrote something else is because uh, I clicked here too quickly run once before this updated so if I go here and I say uh, buying uh, yes buyer once I update I don't want to click like immediately I want to click like this and now everything is so I'm not sure exactly what it was because right now if I do it again it works properly so if I say yes uh, buyer but I think I if I delete delete a bit and then say again all changes saved I think I just need to I think I just clicked too early be before all changes were saved and now you can see that it updates properly I think I just clicked make to call.com too early before this was saved. 